Hello, it's Dr. Erin, your high performance mentor and the success psychologist. And let's talk about money because people are funny about money. And I used to be one of them. And I want to tell you about a recent experience that we had in Cabo San Lucas. Oh my goodness, our happy place. Uh, when we took the family on a just dreamy vacation, the kind that we've been dreaming about our whole adult lives. But before I do that, there's a couple, there are a couple of sayings that I've heard most of my adult life, and you might have heard them too. Um, that once you finally realize, oh, that's what that means, it means you've integrated it into your life, right? You've you you realize why a cliche is a cliche. Um, there's one around money that I never understood until I now understand. And it's this, people would say back when I had no money and I wanted my money, I would hear people say over and over, it's not about the money. And once you get the money, you'll realize it's not about the money. And I'm like, no, I think it's about the money. I don't have any money. I would like some money. I'm pretty sure money would solve all of my problems. At least it would solve my money problem, right? <laughs> it's like, how could you say it's not about the money? You can only say it's not about the money because you have the money. And I just never understood it. And now that we made the money, I finally understand it really is not about the money. So I want to give you a context of which to think about money and your goals and your visioneering. Um, and let me start by having you think about your why. So we hear this all the time. What's your why? What's your why? You got to know your why. If you know your why, you can withstand anyhow. And I think where people get this slightly wrong or incomplete is the why often uh, gets created into a goal. So what's my why? My why is I want to make six figures. Well, why? So that I'm financially free. Okay. Well, a lot of people kind of stop there. If you do an exercise that I call go so that yourself, and you take this reasoning out six, seven layers deep, you will find your true why. So let me give you an example. If I were to say, I want to make six figures, why? So I'm financially free. Why? So I can, um, why do I, you know, I want to be financially free so that, and I might say, so that I can provide for my family. Okay. I want to provide for my family so that, well, I want to provide for my family so that they can experience all the beauties of the world and they can have choices. Okay. Well, I want them to have choices so that, well, so that they can be free and live a happy life and be free to experience life the way they want. And what happens usually for most of us humans is when you get to the end of the, so that your exercise, you find that we all kind of want the same thing ultimately. And it's usually freedom. So freedom looks different in terms of materialistically and in terms of goals for all of us. But ultimately we want freedom. Freedom, what does that mean? Freedom to do what? Like freedom to live the way you wanna live. Freedom to spend your time the way you wanna spend your time and freedom to be with the people you wanna be with is kind of my greatest definition that I can think of for success. But um, let me share with you a definition of being rich that when I read this years ago made no sense to me. So this is from the book by Jen Sincero. You are a badass at making money. And this was the line that I remember reading. It's on page 15. I remember plain as day where I, I was reading this in my bed years ago. And I was like, that, that is, wow. I don't understand that at all. And she says this rich, this is her definition of being rich, rich, able to afford all the things and experiences required to fully experience your most authentic life. I'm going to read it again because 
Now I understand it and I, I totally agree with it. And I think it's so good. Rich, able to afford all the things and experiences required to fully experience your most authentic life. So let me give you an example of this. So we took the kids to Cabo last year for their first vacation, like where all five of us fly on a plane and stay at a nice place. And, and I remember for so many years, Garth, my husband, his vision, his dream, his definition of freedom had several facets to it. But one of them was definitely this idea that he could be the dad that could say yes. Yes, not from a place of spoiling our children and always saying yes. Yes, from the point of if he really wanted to say yes, he could to whatever they were desiring or requesting in terms of things or experiences. So we have this great trip last year. This year, we had quite a bit of financial success and we decided to go big. And we had the vacation that we've been dreaming about for our entire adult life. Uh, Garth, in his engineering way, made a spreadsheet and figured out that it was just a little bit more money to get the presidential suite than to get two hotel rooms because there's five of us. And the way that their hotel rooms are set up at our resort is we would have needed two. And then it was also being that there's five of us, just a little bit more money to get the all-inclusive eat all you want for a week and be gluttonous and just eat, eat, eat package. So we got that. Then he found out that it was just a little bit more to rent a limo for the airport shuttle than taking their typical um, bus, right? So it was a vacation of all vacations. And we know how much money this vacation is costing. It's costing more than we've ever spent on a vacation. And we're happy to do that. We're, we're, We're happy to be there, but we get there And the kids want to go jet skiing. Now, we've never jet skied before, and I can't think of anything more fun than jet skiing on the ocean. And uh, Garth went down and talked to the guy that sold the jet ski packages and comes back and he's like, we're going jet skiing. And I'm like, how much money was it? He goes, "I, it doesn't matter. We're here to make memories. I don't care about money when we're here. We're here to make memories. And he kept saying that. We went on the jet skis. It was the most epic experience ever. Um, Garth let Zachary drive or, you know, steer the jet ski that they were on together. And we get off and Zachary's eyes are just bright, wide open. And he's like, I'm speechless. I don't have words to describe how epic that was. Thanks, dad, for letting me drive. And we just had an experience for our family that will go down in history as one of the best. And it's because we could say yes. And so when I look back now and I'm like, I thought what I wanted was the money. I now understand what they meant. It's not about the money. And you think it's about the money until you get the money. And then you realize it's not about the money. It's about the freedom that the money affords you. And so what are we looking, when we look at freedom and we look at Jen Sincero's definition, it's the freedom to purchase the things and experiences that allow you to fully express yourself. So there were other families in Cabo. And I can imagine some of them would have said, oh gosh, no, we don't want to spend all that money on jet skiing. We'd rather spend our money on a zip line, or we'd rather spend our money um, going to the dolphin experience. The point is being rich is being able to experience life in the way that helps you express your highest, freest, happiest version of yourself. And my goodness, that's what I want for all of you to be able to say yes to that which you desire because your desires are worthy and valuable and unique to you. And for our family, for the Oaksels, the way that we expressed ourselves 
really lined up with that jet ski experience. And so it's not about the money. It's about the ability to say, I want to experience life this way and being able to do that. You know, I think of Oprah, she always used to say, she always joke, you know, I've been, I've been poor and I've been rich. Let me tell you, rich is better. And if you have any money mindset reprogramming that you know you need to do, that you know there's residual, you know, that there's some, there's some residual negative beliefs about money. Like, let's work on that because ultimately we were all born with this unlimited potential and this unlimited joy that we can experience on this planet. And I just think that's what we're here to help all of us do is to fully express the richest, most authentic version of ourselves. And that's going to take money to do it. So I hope that helps you think about your why go. So that yourself do it seven layers deep figure out what does freedom actually look like? What does it feel like? And then go about creating a business that makes the money so that you can have the freedom.